Hello everyone and welcome to your 8th Adobe Photoshop tutorial the toolbar part 3 in this tutorial we will study more about the modifying tools over here so let's just start right away first of all let's see in order to hide any layer for example if you don't want this desert layer to be seen over here and you just want your layer 1 to be seen but you don't want to delete the desert layer either you can either select and move it down and the layer 1 will be seen and for example if you don't want to move it down you want it to be there and you want it to go invisible you can just click the eye here and then it will shut off that layer from vision so let's start we were discussing about the brush tool in the last tutorial the brush tool can be used to give strokes and draw as we like you can increase or decrease your brush size by pressing open bracket and the close bracket buttons in the keyboard next to the P button on your keyboard you can press them to increase the size of your brush as you can see you can increase its size more or you can decrease it to make it very small you can make all kinds of drawings with this brush tool as you want because there are a lot of brushes available let's check them out right now but first let's erase this what we made here let's select the eraser tool left click and drag and it will erase everything or the second way to do it is you can select the layer go down and delete the layer and then create a new layer itself now to fill any layer with a specific color first select the color that you need over here let's select this as blue and the background as white to fill any layer with the foreground color that is the color above here you can press alt and backspace on your keyboard and it, the layer will be filled with the foreground color or you can press control and backspace to fill it with the background color so the color on the bottom is the background the color on the front is the foreground color let's check out various brushes you can just right click in the canvas anywhere and you can set the size of the brush from over here you can select the hardness the hardness is basically how opaque the brush strokes will be and from down here you can select all types of brushes Now if I select the blur brush you can see the difference between the hard brush stroke and the blurred brush stroke. These are needed for different situations. Let's check out the other brushes such as this. When you paint and scrub, it will give the illusion of a real brush as if you are painting in reality.
you can change the color of the strokes by going here and changing the foreground color any way you like and that's how you use the brush tool